Hello everyone and welcome to Poly Week. I'm Dr. Lisa Erickson and today we are delving deep into the depths of diagnostic ultrasound and we're discussing the structures of a finger and how to evaluate them on an ultrasound. So there are two types of ultrasound. There is the ultrasound you use to actually treat someone in a physiotherapy clinic with vibration and with um, heat. And then there is this type, which is diagnostic ultrasound. It's the same thing you use to see a child in the womb. And this type of ultrasound is very, very beneficial to look at fingers, especially climber fingers. So I have two examples, um, which are my fingers. I have, uh, here's my ultrasound machine. I have them in a bucket. And just to give you some understanding of what we're looking at, down here at the base, see how this is all black? Um, this is the base of the bucket and this is one finger, here's the skin, here's my second finger, that's the skin, and these little white discs, that is the bone. So the ray is coming in from the top, and it is reflecting off of these tissues and structures and then reflecting back up again. So that's how we get this view. Um, the whiter the tissue, the less water is in it. The darker the tissue, the more water is in it. So we see between the fingers, we see quite a bit of black in here, and that's just because my hands are immersed in water. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, looking at our anatomy structures, we have the white is the bone. Sitting on top of it where my finger is, that little round circle, those are my two flexor tendons. If we can zoom in, that's kind of a crappy view. Let's go to the other one. Um, ooh, that is a little bit funky. Um, if we zoom in, we have two different tendons, one sitting on top of the other. Um, and the bottom one is flexor digitorum profundus. See how that white line is there? That's mine. I have some nasty tendonitis in that one. And then the one sitting on top of it is flexor digitorum superficialis. So profundus, the one, we'll go here, profundus, the one that's all the way, all the way at the base, that's the one that is your crimp muscle. And the one all the way up here uh, moves your fingers, such as climbing in an open hand or sloper position. So, what the heck is ultrasound good for? We can look and see these structures. We can see if there's bony floaters or nodules, like these little white guys that are in my ultrasound. They could very well be a reflection. So when we're taking ultrasound, we make a video, and I'm moving the video so you can see how it changes. But as you look at the video, woo, we, we look and see how much reflection comes out of the finger, and we can look and see what structures are in there and uh, as for understanding what we're trying to diagnose. So in my case, this is a healthy finger. I have no pain on. Um, however, we do see things that are signs of inflammation, such as this black halo around my tendon. That's a sign of um, inflammation of the tendon. I was climbing in Vitavu all weekend, and my fingers aren't the happiest. So that is a sign. Um, also, this little white wisp of a line up here, you see all kinds of gunk in my ultrasound, all these little white spots. But see how it's in the tendon here? That's just a sign of excessive load in the body building up those tendons. So um, that is the basic anatomy of a finger on an ultrasound. There's all kinds of normals and abnormals that we can see when you come in the office to examine. Um, but loading these structures, we can wiggle the joints and see if you have um, abnormal motion, if you've torn a uh, collateral ligament, side to side motion. We can wiggle the joint and see if any bony bits pop off of it when we're loading different flexor tendons or loading your lumbricals and see if you have any what we call avulsion injuries. Um, and then also we can look and see if you have finger pain and we test and we load the finger and we don't see anything move, we can look and see what do the tendons themselves look like and that lets us know if you have tendonitis or tendinosis or where to start our treatment, is it in the finger where your, where your pain is or is it up in the forearm on the structures that are loading the finger uh, in cases of chronic irritation from just too tight of forearm flexors. So anyway, that is a diagnostic ultrasound. Um, just kind of an info uh, as for understanding finger injuries and what ultrasound is useful for. It's one, one of the most um, effective tools in my office for des deciding how to treat these structures. Do we start off with therapeutic exercise? Do we, do we ban you from climbing or do we tell you you can totally climb but watch how much you load these things? Um, that's where these ultrasounds come in. So anyway, that's an introduction to the finger with diagnostic ultrasound. Thank you so much for joining me.